Mark, tell us about Export Week. <laughs> Export Week is a week of events. The same to get people thinking about trading overseas. Why? Because it's a lot of evidence to show that companies that trade overseas are more profitable than those that don't and are more able to resist changes to their environment, such as uh, customers having difficulties, etc. So what can Yorkshire do to improve its export potential? There are already uh, several thousand companies selling overseas from, from Yorkshire, from very small to very large, from services to manufacturing. I think there are two things that companies do. If they're not selling overseas at the moment, they should certainly be thinking about it, because it is those companies that are growing at the moment. Secondly, if you think you could do more, or you'd like to do more, please contact UKTI and uh, we'll see what we can do to help you grow. So we work very successfully with around 3,000 companies a year and I'm sure we can help you as well. We've heard from two companies today that are at different stages of international trading, but for those companies that don't currently export, it must seem a very daunting challenge. I think that's absolutely right. Anything that you're doing for the first time always looks to be uh, daunting and difficult. But the more you know, the more knowledge and experience you have, the, the it seems much easier. Um, I think that the companies that we've seen today um, have shown, one has only been training overseas for a few months, but has already had significant success. Uh, I think it was £250,000 of, of new business, and that's going to grow their business, or anybody's business, considerably. Another, trading for six or seven years, but looking to expand into those high growth markets. So great examples of how you can do it. And there was an event uh, last week where someone said what I thought was great summed it up. International trade isn't difficult, it's just different.